Hey everybody, it's Doug again. Uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating to you my 180 amp 15 volt power supply. This power supply is completely custom built. It's a rewound microwave oven transformer. And for comparison, this over here is what it sort of looked like when it started out. As you notice, this is a step up transformer, stepping up the 120 or so of the outlet to up to 2000 volts. And this one has been rewound. Basically, I chiseled off the primary, like the, or the secondary. Uh, the best way to get those windings off like I said earlier, is with a chisel. You simply just put it up against the windings, smack it a few times, and you'll cut right through all the copper, and then you can push it out. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't do that unless you have two of them, like I did, because, frankly, the 2 kilovolt one is just as useful. But, anyway, uh, I rewound it with, I believe, 17 turns of doubled-up 14-gauge wire, and this is 14-gauge, uh, and the reason it's doubled-up is because I didn't have any thicker wire at the, at the at the time, and so uh, to take the current, I had to double it up. Now the cool thing about this is that I wound it in two separate coils, which means that uh, I can either switch these two coils so they're in series to get 30 volts at 90 amps, or I can leave them as is in parallel, as you can see, um, to get 15 volts at 180 amps. And now these current figures aren't calculated, they're actually measured with my amp clamp, so this is a pretty hefty power supply. It will, it will supply quite a bit of current. Um, anyway, when I get another one of these, uh, what I plan to do is to wind it with some much thicker wire, which I found, in fact, it's down here. Here's a piece of it, I got a whole box of it over there, but um, I believe this is 4 gauge. I don't know, the conductor is quarter inch. It's a uh, stranded conductor, quarter inch. Not the, with the jacket, it's bigger than quarter inch, but. So, I can get maybe 6 or 7 turns in there for maybe 6 or 7 volts. Yeah, I found both these transformers to be about 1 volt per turn, so I'm not sure if that's kind of a standard with microwave, microwave oven transformers or not, but I don't know, we'll find out when I get another one. Anyway, uh, the original purpose for this was to be used as a welder, and that's what I had it rigged for 30 volts for, but unfortunately one transformer just simply doesn't cut it. Um, it can't take the load, and frankly it couldn't sustain the arc. Uh, these are the electrodes I used, I don't know, maybe they're too thick, but they're uh, 330 seconds, the E6013, just standard AC welding electrodes, general purpose, and they didn't work, so I don't know if I should have gone thinner, I don't know if they even make anything thinner than 330 seconds, maybe they make eighth, I'm, I'm not quite sure, but anyway, further experiments to follow with that, but what I currently use it for is the power supply to, me, to my oxyhydrogen generator, which uh, basically electrolyzes, it's a big electrolysis cell, to electrolyze water into hydrogen and oxygen gas mixture, and then uh, that mixture is then sent to a torch head and burned, uh, where it burns pretty hot. It's uh, about 400 degrees cooler, or the, adi the adiabatic flame temperature is about 400 degrees cooler than that of water, but that's for another, or than that of oxyacetylene, but that's for another video entirely. Anyway, so the most fun thing to do with these high current transformers is to burn stuff, of course. So that's what we're going to do right now. I have a piece of steel wire here, uh, it's 60 thousandths in diameter, it's galvanized. Yes, I know, zinc fumes, because uh, zinc boils at much lower than the temperature that iron melts. So, don't worry, I'm not breathing the fumes. <laughs> For all you people out there who are going to leave me hate comments saying, don't do this in the house. Yeah, do it with copper if you're going to do it, but I don't really care. Anyway, plus this place is well ventilated. Uh, so yeah, I put the steel sheet down so it doesn't burn my workbench. This is my bridge wire, make sure it's in there nice and tight. Alright, and uh, let's turn this a little bit so the camera can see it better. Okay, um, I'm going to turn the lights off and I'll turn the power on on a count of three. Okay, the lights are off. Three, two, one. And there you have it. Lights back on. Yep. One piece of burned through steel wire melted right through. Well, there you have it. That's my 180 amp supply. Stay tuned for my uh, oxyhydrogen torch project, which is actually pretty cool. Unfortunately, it takes a bit to set up, so I'm going to have to do it when I'm on break from school, so it might be around Thanksgiving when I do that, but hopefully, I'll get some other videos in by then. Anyway. Subscribe, rate, comment. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.